<laughs> the overcoat is um, an opera or a piece of music theater, depending on your point of view, in which um, the protagonist, Akaki Akakievich, uh, a low-level drone in an office, suddenly becomes an overnight sensation because he gets a new overcoat. Uh, and uh, shortly after that, he gets invited to a fancy party, he gets drunk, he leaves the party, he's rolled for his overcoat, and he loses it. Originally we did an adaptation of it as a movement piece, which a lot of people know very well. And um, then recently I got together with James and we decided to try and make it into an opera. So it was based originally on a, on a, uh, a short story by Gogol, The Overcoat, which a lot of people know. Um, and it was originally a mashup between that and uh, Diary of a Madman. Um, and so I kept that kind of frame to develop the new story. In a way, it's much more theater than it is, well, uh, opera's a big word and sometimes it's a scary word. People think mm -hmm. of things, you know, that, that, that opera isn't anymore or, that, or at least that music theater isn't anymore. So I think it was a, it's a really interesting fusion of serious music and theater. Really, it sits with a foot in both camps. I mean, you could say it's opera because the singers are opera singers. They're trained as opera singers, and they'll probably be singing acoustically without amplification. They're live instruments, and so on. There's a pit. Uh, on the other hand, the, the tone is not really operatic. It's not heroic. There's not a lot of uh, parking and barking, as they say. There's not a lot of uh, star singers. The, the star role for Akaki is very busy and it's, um, you know, that'll be a virtuosic thing, but otherwise it's a lot of ensemble work. I, I think that the, what the show do, is, is, is rooted in, you know, pure theatricality. So the, it, 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 it moves through music, but it also moves through words and uh, movement is a big component of it. And so a lot of the elements that we used for the original overcoat we put in here because they're really eye-catching and fascinating, and, but, but we wanted to integrate the movement with that. So I would say above all, you know, above and beyond all of those definitions, it is a fantastic and very watchable piece of theater. I mean, it's, it's comic in a very dark way. Uh, but there should be moments of recognition with the characters and the themes that were in the story that we're dealing with. It's, you know, the original story is written way back in 1848, but it's very contemporary at the same time. So I hope it resonates with the audiences. That's what I hope people will come away with from this piece, because it's very, it's very different from, as James said, very different from a normal opera that one might see, certainly from conventional opera, very different from musical theater, from th from, from spoken theater, and so it's got a lot of elements that, that people will recognize, but put together in a form that we hope will be really fresh and innovative and different.